Hello, my name is Bernd Mylander. I'm the official FIA safety car driver in Formula One. I've been doing this job since 20 years and I want to show you some uh, very special figures of the car. Well, this is the official FIA safety car. It's a Mercedes AMG. Since 1996, they're presenting the official safety car. Why do you see the safety car on the track? Quite easy, because something happens on the track. So race control will send me on the track on the right time. I'm behind the steering wheel and hopefully I will catch the leader. That's always the tricky point, but it's always the safety car on the track if something happens, accident, weather conditions, or for a special reason. We have a lot of antennas, that's for telemetry, what is quite important, that uh, our engineers get always the right data from the car. On the top, what the spectators uh, really like to see, that's our light bar where we have the orange light, where we have the flash lines around the car, and where we have the green lights. In front of them, it's the marshalling system. Marshalling system, all F1 cars have it inside, that's the flag system where they got the signal which kind of flag is on the, around the track. If it's a dangerous situation, for sure they will see a yellow flag, just for example. We have an onboard camera who is showing to the front and into the back as well. And on the back, there's another antenna. That's the most important antenna because this is my communication. That's the radio antenna, where we get all information from race control, from the race director. Uh, so radio, it's very important in the modern Formula One. And if we walk around the car to my office, it's really nice to have always your name on it. All the race drivers have their own name on their own car. And I have my name also in my office on my beautiful safety car. And let's go in. Well, now we are inside the safety car. And for sure, we have a lot of buttons, but it's all the regular buttons. Also, the function of these buttons are completely regular. Uh, but we have some very special things inside, and that's what I want to show you. So you have seen here the buttons who are flashing. That's the marshalling system. Driving-wise, what is very important for me, that's here this kind of button that calls TC, it's traction control. And traction control, it's a safety measurement uh, who is regulating the traction of the car. And I'm always nearly off, but it's helpful if you are driving on, let's say, seven of nine. Sometimes if I want to do a nice drift, you can switch it off as well. Then just on the, uh, on the top screen here, um, usually I'm using the temperature, what is very important, the data of the temperature, of the power of the gearbox. Then it's very important, we have two different screens inside. So I can just switch it on for you. Um, they are not working in the moment because nothing is going on. So we get on this screen, we get the original life fee, we get lap times, we get also information if there's an accident on the track and if it's more than 20 G, it's something uh, popping up and we said, okay, in turn six, a big accident with uh, 20, 25 Gs. So we get already this information, what is very helpful for us and for my co-driver. Talking about the co-driver, he's responsible for the radio. We have two radio buttons here, two red ones. That's the main radio and that's the backup radio. So. The radio is connected to race control and race control tells me all the time what happens on the track if I have to deploy or if I have to come back uh, through the pit lane. The light system on the top of the car, I can use it. Here are some standard buttons and these standard buttons we just put uh, different colors on. So for sure the uh, silver button it's for the flashlight orange button for the orange light on the top, so when the safety car deploys, and the green button if someone, when I'm allowed to give a driver a chance to overtake me. Very important, uh, because sometimes you can't catch the leading car, so we put the green light on and he can pass us. If we switch the lights on on the uh, light bar, it's always difficult to know which light you switch it on, so you can see it inside the car. If you look up to here, now you see the flashlights are on. Now put uh, the, the orange lights on, you see the orange lights are on. And if I want to uh, give the chance for Formula One car to pass, I put the green lights on. You, that's like a backup, so you know which button you have, uh, you pressed which button. And also the mirror, because the rear wing of the GTR, it's quite big, so to get a lot of downforce. So we put a, a special mirror inside the car with a camera system, with a rear camera system. And you can see it here, so it's focused by, by a camera. 
uh, to, get a, to get a clear vision to the back of the car. Okay, and now I will show you something different to the regular car. Uh, we have the real heart in the front of this car because it's a front middle engine. That's the power side. And now we go into the communication side. And the communication side and all the data, you will find it here in the booth of this car. Uh, where you have the two radio system, main radio, backup system. You have a Wi-Fi where we get all the signals for our extra screens. We have here the marshalling systems, what I showed you before, uh, with the three, three different lights. We have a, a box, a black box, where all the data datas are important for us, where we can uh, see what's happened. We have the TV compound over there. It's completely outside of a regular road car of the GTR, but that's all the special things what we're using in Formula One.